Welcome to Batch as a Programming Language Tutorial Section 1, Echo. Who is this tutorial for? This tutorial is for people who have completed Batch as a Programming Language Tutorial Section 0. If you have not completed that tutorial please do so before continuing. What is covered in this tutorial? In Section 1.0 we will learn how to output text to the console window. In Section 1.1 we will learn how to output a blank line to the console window. To get started, navigate to where we saved our syntax batch script in Section 0. Right click on the file and then select Edit. Within the start label under the call to the var set function insert a new line. Type echo hello world. What is the echo command? Any text following the word echo will be displayed in the console window. In section 0 we discuss the use of it echo off. We defined it as telling the program to not display anything except what we tell it to. The term echo is now used to specify exactly what we want the program to display. Here is another look at batch script 1.0, echo. If you did not pause the video earlier to make changes to our batch script please do so now. Within the directory batch as a programming language tutorial that we created in section 0 create a new directory. Call it 01 underscore echo. Change our script command line appropriately. Save our batch script within this directory as 01.0 underscore echo hello world. The standard for MS-DOS is to not put any spaces in directory or file names as it makes it easier to access them from using MS-DOS commands. We will need this later to access the files from another batch script, so it is a good habit to get into not using spaces. If we double click the file the program should look as follows. Press any key to close the program. Now reopen the syntax script that we created in section 0, again using right click and then edit. Once again within the start label under the var set function call, insert a new line. Type 5 echo dots, each on their own line as shown here. What is echo dot? Echo dot is used to output a blank line to the console window. We briefly covered this in section 0 in the end label. Save this batch script to our section 1 directory as 01.1, underscore echo blank dot bat, again with no spaces. If we double click the program it looks as we expected. Five blank lines followed by press any key to continue. Thank you for watching batch as a programming language tutorial section 1. I look forward to seeing you in the next section.